Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm Chad. Ariana. And we are watching episode six of Band of Brothers. This one's called Bastone. When we left for Bastone... Okay, that's totally... We were short of equipment. Garnier, right? We didn't have no. enough ammunition. We didn't no. have enough warm... I don't know, because when I saw him earlier in the first one, he sounded like him, too. He just immediately, his face shaved. I was like, oh, Garnier. <laughs> but he but doesn't also, sound like that first guy. He also isn't the actor. Yeah. <laughs> Well, like in Bastogne, we're down around, one around for man there for a while. Oh, my goodness. And then a mm. medic came along, and I think he really saved my life because he stuck a serrette in my in a key position. More, oh, more goodness. Than, even today, we go to bed, and my wife will tell you that the first thing I'll say is I'm glad I'm not in Bastogne. Yeah, I think I also heard that these interviews were a, like, separate documentary. Oh, okay. And they, like, are poll interviews. I was like, that's cool. We hear this now. Oh. Ice cubes rubbing. Oh, it's his, his finger. finger. Oh, he's yeah. got frostbite. I thought he picked it up. He probably made so he could like see, feel if he was gonna bleed. Oh my god. They start a lot of episodes where you're not super convinced of uh what like when is this taking place? Right. Yeah, they kind of just throw you to the wolves. Yeah, very disorienting. They don't have gloves. Thinking about it, like you're trying to prepare. Ooh. Oh. Just get my edge back. God. Oh, whatever. He's preparing to shave. <laughs> okay. How much is he here? Schnell! Man, that could have been a doc the second ago. Mm-hmm. Take him back to regiment. Give it to me straight. Line spread so thin the enemy wanders into our CP to use our slit trenches, sir. We just can't cover the line. We're spread too damn thin. Hold the line, Colonel. Close the gaps. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, without what? the right amount of people. There's a lot of shit heading this way. When do you think that you would like reposition further back to a place where you could maybe keep it tighter? It seems like they're in a position where they would just get run through because they're right. so effed up right now. Oh, right back to shaving. How are you fixed? Uh, no plasma, a couple of bandages, practically no morphine. Get everything you can. You're gonna need it. What'd you get? I got, uh, I got this. This is it? Yeah. That's it. That's all you got. You got extra scissors? Uh-uh. Just a one. Hey, what's this? Two medics in one hole? What's gonna happen to us if you take a hit, huh? First Sergeant, where's my foxhole? It's back here, sir. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe you missed it, huh? God damn it. Yes. <laughs> Seems weird that they picked this guy up. Right. Did you, uh, did you keep your morphine from Holland? No. Hey, hey, uh, Doc, I gotta talk to you. How's that leg? And the hell with the leg? I'm pissing needles. Later. <laughs> so, like, I don't think I can do anything for that, bud. Okay. Out here. They're out there. Depend on it. Yeah, they're probably in a similar position. I mean, they probably have better cold weather gear, but... Mm -hmm. You got scissors shop, Susan. Scissors? Uh -huh. Well, let's see, uh, I'll have to check the psalm room. My <laughs> upstairs in the study, that skinny old drawer in the middle of the desk. All right. Hide your morphine, guy. <gasps> oh, shit. They peppered my helmet. Morphine. Here, take it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> They're really good at having attacks happen mid conversations. So right. So not expecting it. I don't need to go back to no aid station. But you're in luck, We don't got no aid station. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They just said that. Oh my. Got your aid kid? Right, well, you don't need this. Not yet. I do. <laughs> Yeah, it's got to be really disheartening yeah. being a medic and not having anything to do your job with. Right. You know? This is what I want you to do. Watching guys die, you could have helped. Take someone and work your way over to the third battalion. All right. You know what we need: bandages, plasma, whatever you can beg. You beg. Go. So if the enemy has you zeroed in like that, do you just reposition or do you, you know? Right. Like, how do you find your way out of this at this point? Like they'll just keep doing it. They yeah. know where you are. Hey, babe. Where the hell are we? This way. Oh. Come on. Oh, 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 oh my shit, goodness. He's right there. Spare a few bandages, but that's it. 
No more feet. So it does seem like they're in a similar yeah. boat. No surgeon, no aid station, nothing. Just me and my buddy. Sorry, guys, but we just can't help you. Backwards, babe. Anybody see Lieutenant Dyke? Uh, try Battalion CP, sir. Try Parrish. <laughs> try Hinkle. <laughs> Lieutenant Dyke, can you spare something from your eight kids, sir? I'm real short. I need cigarettes. What happens if I get hit? <clears throat> I'll be there. Cigarettes in here, right? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Right. Oh, I don't plan on getting hit. <laughs> what? What? what you, okay. Hey, Hefron, hey, right. you okay? Jean. What is with the have fun bullshit, huh? Well, uh, it's Edward, right? Edward, are you serious? Why well, the goddamn nuns call me Edward? Used to look at scissors. His aunt, Okani. Oh, and uh, you better check on Del Torre out in the OP. He's missing something. I like following the medic because, man, he really does just have to run right. constantly back and forth. Like, man. Toy, are you missing something? Home. <laughs> Toy, show me your feet. It's frostbite. Where are your boots? Oh, oh no. General Taylor's ass. Well, what happened? Took them off, dry my goddamn socks. They got blown to hell, okay? Oh, no. And I, just like everybody else. Frank, you keep cleaning those teeth. The Germans will see you a mile away. <laughs> hey, doctor. Where are you going to find extra boots? Like, that's not going to happen. Oh, come on, doc. You got a drugstore in here? What are you looking for? Scissors. Thank you, Bukani. <laughs> Or like USO picking up Surrettes. Ali, Liebgott, you got any? No guy using Holland, Doc. <laughs> he ain't using this stuff, are you, Doc? I mean, personal like? <laughs> I can't help you, all right? Just drink lots of water. Water? Hey, it's pissing that hurts. Shut it. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Who the hell's saying? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll find out, Lieutenant. I'll find out. I'll shut, him I'll shut him up. I'll shut him up. To be understood is to understand or to be loved is to love with all my heart. <laughs> Does Bible from Fury kind of remind you of him? Mm -hmm. I wonder if he took inspiration from this character. Yeah, very. If you like, watch this and. Very similar to this. Oh my god. Ooh, that is. Oh my god. This ain't that bad, ain't that bad. No, Doc saved the morphine. I can make it. I can save them. That's very brave. Yeah, it is. Oh, God. Oh, man, that sound design. That's gonna live in my brain run free for a long time. Oh. All the tanks, artillery, all pull back to here. Oh wow. He took a lot of hit. Get him in. Oh. Coming through. Nurse. Have you got plasma? Wait, please. I highly doubt it. Mm -hmm. If they're giving people alcohol for the pain. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. hey, what's going on here? Why ain't these men evacuated? We can't evacuate. We're cut off. This is as far as it goes. That has to have a greater meaning. Like, do they see this, like, front as a... Well, it seems like they're surrounded. Yeah. Nice. I need more things. I need bandages. Whatever you've got. Can I have this to be? Uh, you want that? Oui. You got plasma? No. Voilà. Merci. My name is René. I'm Jean. I'm Jean Rose. I'm kind of surprised you got anything. Uh-huh. Can you get me back to the line? Eugene. Hey. Chocolat. You can say thanks, bro. That's cool. You got the boots. Mm-hmm. That would be a little bad. You'd have to count him as basically a casualty if mm -hmm. he doesn't have boots. Like, he's useless. Yeah. God bless you all. Who's their chaplain? Mm -hmm. That's it, guys. Nothing have we met him? Italian one of reconnaissance patrol. Okay. Crowd hunting. All right, I'll go take these. And give the boots to Joe Troy. Tell him there are nine. I feel like we meet characters for like a second in this episode, and then the next episode we'll like get to deal with right. them more. That keeps like that's how they rotate new characters in. Right. Tactical columns, gentlemen. Oh doc, doc. It's a combat patrol. Why don't you uh, stay back and keep your ass out of trouble, huh? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Fair point. It's 
cool coincidence we just saw Axel Ridge and then now the medic episode. <gasps> Everyone gets shot in the neck, man. Oh no! Oh my god. What's happening, sir? We're pulling back. Yeah, they're right on top of each other. Oh my gosh, and they're just shooting into the pog. It's not like they can really... Mm -hmm. Like, these are just like, getting lucky shots at this point. It's mostly a suppressive fire to keep them yeah. from getting a good beat on you. Right. Oh, don't move, we're coming back. Oh, God. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine anyone like pulling through those no. kinds of wounds in mm -mm. these conditions. Oh, look at all that blood. That's so much. We could get them, Captain. We tried, babe, tried. We could get them. What you doing out here? Thanks for the boot stock. Doing fine. Are you still having trouble with your feet? Show me. Let me let me see it. Oh, no, thank you. It's trash for a toy. If it turns gangrene, you could lose it. I ain't coming off the line, Doc. Change socks every day and drive the wet ones around your neck. Try. Do it. I'm working on it. I thought that was frostbite. I was like, oh man. Oh. You seen that from? No. Why? He ain't in his hole. Gotcha. Have fun. Edward, eat it. Good. I promised him if he got hit, I'd get his stuff and bring it to his ma. You know? Not a fucking crime, so strip him. No, but it's okay. It's not. It's not okay. Mm. And what do you call those people again? Those Cajun healers. Traiteurs. You know, my grandma was a traiteurs. No shit. Well, she was. Laid her hands on people and cured them. I remember she used to pray a lot. Talk to God about the pain she pulled out. Mm -hmm. Asked him to carry it away. <sighs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm like getting cold looking at mm -hmm. them. Like, oh my goodness. <sighs> Also sleeping like in all your kit and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like fog cleared out. Yeah. Oh, it's looking like it's about to. Yeah. Oh. Maybe they assumed that that position was like German owned. Uh huh. No, I could imagine them just being like, there's no way our boys have held the line. Yeah. Ugh. That's awesome. It's like angels from heaven coming and bringing stuff. All right. Someone give us a hand here. Hey. Oh, oh my god. I can't hold the gurgling. Oh my god. The artery. Gotta find the artery. Oh my god, it's... Oh, it just caught him in his own eyeball. Oh, oh my god. Should I do pot?
I think he said it doesn't work. Oh. Oh, wow. What? Your hands. You're a good nurse. I never want to treat another wounded man again. I'd rather work in a butcher's shop. Mm. But your touch calms people. That's a gift from God. Oh, it's not a gift. God would never give such a painful thing. The stress in the emergency field of having to always run into a barn fire and have to instantly assess over and over and over and over again. That's got to just, man, your, right. your cortisol levels just have to be like mm -hmm. maxed out all the time. Now we know how they felt, the legionnaires, when they were watching the Huns. Mm. The Visigoths. Visigoths, Jesus Christ. Uh, barbarians. All the officers I knew were like this. Mm -hmm. They all were super into like Roman history and... What's college like, Buck? You got time to hit the books with the cheerleaders running their fingers through your head? <laughs> Can't even remember. Uh. Hey, it's dark. Sergeant, wrap up. Never calls anybody by their nickname. The one's called me Edward. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you don't look like an Edward. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Or that whose one? is that? It's gonna get busy, pal. Don't let him draw you out. Hold your fire! Stay ready, boys. What the hell? We gotta hit those things with lead. That's what I'm wondering. Uh huh. Stay in your hold, guys. You stay ready. Ah. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get in! Come on, let's go! Go! Oh, my legs, dude. Take it easy. Oh my god, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, even if they didn't have ammo issues, they're still outpowered mm -hmm. anyway, so like, this is so hopeless. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. We gotta get the hell out of here. Where'd he get hit? I thought I saw him get hit. Like, In the shoulder. Oh, by... I thought he got hit through his body. I don't know. Well, I thought it was like, and then it, like, the thing fell down and looked like it burned him. I don't, I don't, I don't know. No, if it's the. But it could have, it could have went at an angle right no, to He's got side. bandages on both sides. I think oh. he got hit this way. Oh, no. Come on, Wilbur. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Standing on my hand. Sorry, Doc. <laughs> I got your ride, Doc. Well, they got like two medics for like, what, mm -hmm. 50 dudes? Mm hmm. This is insane. Like, who knows what's happening this whole time he's gone? All right. Okay, put him here. Where's his tag? What's wrong with him? Paralyzed. What? Uh. He's paralyzed. Can't feel a thing. Eugene. Renee. Are you? Renee, I need some help here. No, he's not. Are you alright? Mm. Oh my. Okay. Mm. I think he's starting to feel like her a little bit. Mm -hmm. He looks dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goodness. Well, I'm sitting down to a Christmas Eve dinner of turkey and hooch back at the Division CP. Damned if I don't like old Joe Dominguez's rancid ass beans better. <laughs> I like this dude. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Man, Joe McAuliffe wishes us all a Merry Christmas. We've stopped cold everything that's been thrown at us. Now, two days ago, the German commander demanded our honorable surrender. Save the USA encircled troops from total annihilation. The German commander received the following reply. Nuts! Mm. Merry Christmas. 
Merry Christmas to y'all, and God bless you. It's like also on the other hand, mm-hmm. like from his position, saying nuts is also saying go kill him. Right. You know, I would I would sacrifice every one of you guys. Right. It's like I barely have the tools to help who I can help now as it is. Yeah, it's just it's good at putting a hat on that. Mm-hmm. There's just no cool direction for war to go. It's just exactly. such a nightmare. Seriously, I'm like never cold when we're watching up here and I'm like freezing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very psychosomatic. Also, you're close enough you can hear him singing. Mm-hmm. Good looking bride, Buck. <laughs> She's finished with me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh... It's <laughs> time for Christmas, eh? Mm-hmm. It's in time for Christmas. I am shaking so goddamn much. I feel like I'm dancing. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. That probably feels really good when you're cold. What is it? Lemon powder snow cone. What's the lemon powder for normally? I have no idea. I, is that flavoring? Is, well, yeah, yeah right. Like, but but flavoring of what? Yeah. Like <laughs> lemonade? <Snow? laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's probably it, actually. Yeah. Dell, like where fairies and gnomes live. <laughs> I swear, I thought I could smell a fire. I did smell a fire. <laughs> you out of your mind? Well, what, they know where you are. Oh, yeah. I'm Adele. Oh. oh, crossfire? Is that friendly? Oh no. Duck's got like a slower response mm-hmm. time every time. Like every, each attack, he, yeah. yeah, he can't move. Yeah. It's creeping in on him, man. Yeah, last time Taking it was a couple little seconds. Pieces, and... Yeah. Come on, get up. Okay. Okay. Okay, get up. Not okay, lie down. Okay, get up. Come on. Oh, Not okay, oh, lie down. God damn it. Oh, if Harry dies, I'm gonna be very put out. Oh, oh no. Needs a tourniquet. Uh, bro. Uh, uh, stay still, Harry. Scratch Harry. I'm not getting out of here this easy. Yep. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, 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 just feeling all up in there with like a. You have to tie it so tight to cut off an yeah. artery that, like, that's got to just be murder. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, we still do that. We try to write T and then for tourniquet, and mm-hmm. then the time the tourniquet was put on, so they know how long you can have it on before basically you have to amputate because of the lack of blood flow. Where in the town I get that hot meal around? <gasps> oh my! <gasps> oh, did they really? I'm at the medic center. Mm-hmm. Mm. Medic! Get your ass out here! Come on! thing that too for him like nothing ever slows down for him Mm -mm. to be able to drink in anything that ever happens Mm -mm. which not only are all those people dead now but like where do you bring new wounded right they still don't have an aid station poor renee (sighs) babe yeah how'd you do that you did that i'll fix it up 
I am confused. How did he specifically do that? Did... I didn't see. Yeah. I was wondering if he had his knife out or something, or... I know, it was like when he was getting him out the hole. Mm -hmm. That's kind of beautiful. Mm -hmm. Called me babe. I did? Just now. Babe. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> babe. <laughs> That's a goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He looks like that kid from Jurassic Park to me. On December 26, 1944, General Patton's 3rd Army broke through the German lines, hey, allowing okay. supplies to flow in, the wounded and the evacuated. The story of the Battle of the Bull just told today is one of Patton's coming to the rescue of the encircled 101st Airborne. Yeah, so they were oh, wow. totally encircled. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. No member of the 101st has ever agreed that the division needed to be rescued. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it also, it makes you wonder... If they picked Easy Company to do the show with because they're, they did so many things that other texts talk about and other movies and stuff talk about. So it kind of, you know, it was like out Fully of all the... encompasses. Yeah, right. What, like, you know, all the... If this one company was kind of involved in all these major things that we talk about, right. then yeah, we might as well. It's like, you know, it's like Forrest Gump. You right, know, exactly. Gump does everything so we can talk about everything through this one guy, but these guys right. actually did it, you know? So I think that's kind of a cool way to do that. Um, yeah, this was probably the most, like, uh, despair-filled episode, I think. I would had. say so. Yeah, this was yeah. the most hopeless feeling because one. Because the other one's as sad as you are in that moment with them. It's right. quick action. You yeah. know what I mean? We're yeah. always bouncing back from this where you're mm -hmm. just, like, watching everyone just completely suffer I also through liked, that. Um, I always forget. What's the medic's name? That was just on? Yeah. Well, the uh, medic. Gene. Gene? Okay. Yeah. yeah, Gene, he, um... It was cool to see him kind of... And Ro, um, I think is his last name. Yeah, Ro, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's cool to see him evolve over the episode. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, he doesn't start off chipper. He's never been chipper. Right. Um, but I like getting to spend time to kind of watch it. You know, like, because mm -hmm. with Blythe, we had a similar kind of feeling with that episode, you know, following him. But his was, like, the opposite. It was right. getting better. Mm -hmm. um, but it was him also pretty consistently at that low point up until, like, the two-thirds mark of the episode. This right. one is, like, watching him just, like, slowly get worse and worse and worse. Right. Um, and just so, you know, filled with despair. And I also liked it kind of showcasing how a lot of the soldiers get to kind of hang out get to but like they're hanging out in foxholes mm -hmm. and it's that you know the thing with the soldiers they always say it's like it's nothing 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 and then everything and then nothing, right nothing, nothing 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 everything um but him it's non-stop he's just, just constantly running, running from hole to hole to hole totally. to hole and with, then just having to go back and forth to camp two and seeing how many injured and how much they have so little to help the injured Absolutely with. Right. They don't even have a surgeon. They don't have a mm -hmm. doctor at this point. They're just running on the nurses that are there. He's essentially baking all the guys for yeah. you know little supply things that they got a while right. ago. And um also the like he's such a gopher for everything. Yeah. It's like, I need morphine, but also I need to get so and so some boots and right. so and so's peeing needles, and you know, got to figure out what to do with him. And then this, you know, the guy who needs boots now has trench foot, and it's like it's something that is very annoying and a problem now that could turn into like he could die a from lot. it exactly. Later, you know? So it's like that also having to constantly prioritize, you know, like who who's dying now, right. who's routine, who's at you know first convenience, you know that kind of stuff. It's um, yeah, it's, it's like a yeah. constant game of leapfrog at this point for him, you know, because yeah, once yeah. he jumps over that guy, then he's got to find another problem to have to solve. And like you said, it's not like it's just about saving one's life. It's more like they're yeah. throwing him out there, go to hold. They have to stay and hold the line. Well, he's got to go get the supplies. So well, yeah, and having to wait back, it's like he has to feel kind of like um babe did with mm -hmm. the kid that they had to leave right where it's like if i was there i maybe could have done something now i don't think anyone could have done anything because they were taking right. such heavy fire and the mm -hmm. guys seemed like they were 50 feet away right um but still like it's that feeling of sitting you know you keep seeing him sitting there on a tree thinking yeah. about you know like i can hear right out there stuff going on those guys obviously need me and i'm way back here um yeah it's a tough one so this was a, it's cool they're continuing the you know i assume since we're over halfway this is just the show is like we spend basically every episode hanging out with a guy mm -hmm. for the most part. Um, what do you think is the least like that episode? Like the opposite episode of that? What, was there any episode that didn't feel like it kind of had a main character that episode? I feel like pretty much maybe the first no, episode. Maybe the first episode when they're introducing everybody, but you're, you're still focusing primarily on, on Winters. Sobel, on Winters, yeah. on, you know what I mean? But I guess that would be the most, I would say... 
uh, cameos of all the mm. characters you see, though. Because I'm thinking POV characters, because yeah. like, whenever we see a soul bowl, it's never from his point of view. No. It's always someone else dealing with right. him. Uh, except for when he gets fired. Um, that was kind of him. But the... Uh, but no, Winters can... has had probably the most individual yeah. episodes. He feels kind of like the main character of the whole show. Right. Um, and we haven't had any POV episodes with Nyx yet. Nyx mm -hmm. is always in relation to someone mm -hmm. else interacting with him, mostly Winters. Um, yeah, we kind of had a Garnier-focused episode very early on, I think mm -hmm. like episode two or something like that. Um, when they did the landing is when we had another big Winters episode when he was right. with the new guy. Um, so yeah, so this one was with the medic, which is cool. Cause I've also, I've, I've been liking the medic. Like he's just, I, I like how kind of straight shooter he is. Right. And, for sure. Um, he shows up like when he yells at winners and, um, who he ever, he was with, I think maybe Harry, um, about bowl and they not bowl, um, uh, moose and they'd given him too many, um, um, surrettes. Uh, like Winter's not snapping at him, snapping at him, right? Is because he knows that he knows his stuff, and uh, absolutely, this ins this uh, not insurrection, what's the uh, insubordination is coming mm -hmm. from a place of of him being very good at his job and understanding. It was you know? also kind of cool that you constantly are seeing the looks that Winters is giving the medic because he's watching him. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, you're right. bit, have you seen it? Like, cause I when thought he's he was going to go back, talk to him. Right? I did too. Mm -hmm. But like before that, there's another scene where he's having a moment. He's right. watching him too. Yeah. So I don't know if that's going to come full circle, you yep. know, later yep. Yep. on. Or... No, you're probably right. Probably will. Yeah. Because it, well, it's, you know, again, just another good sign of a good leader is like right. keeping attention to like you, you got to everything's on this curve because, you know, morale's bad. It's not right. like morale's going to be better. <laughs> yes. um, it's not really it's, much you can fix right now. But like who it. looks yeah. like they're about to have a mental breakdown? You yeah. know? And is there anything that, you know, I could possibly do? Absolutely. Um, you know what? I just really, yeah, I should probably go through this at some point. I got all the names right here. Um, so, yeah, they uh, it's it's interesting. Yeah. Um, and what do you call it? Um, it seems weird, but I also kind of wonder if, um, uh, man, I always forget his name too. You told me his name a second ago too. Is he in here? Who's the blonde haired? Buck. Buck. Yeah. I can't think of his last Buck. name, but yeah, that's what no, he goes they by. Yeah. Call him Buck all the time. Yeah. Buck. I wonder if maybe the, him being upset at the theater thing, maybe that's when he got the, um, the Dear John letter. <gasps> Maybe. I yeah. mean, we're going, we're, we're stretching a little bit, but it's that would make a, stretch, a lot more sense of him just being like, eh, we're going. I'm I upset. Just, I don't know how to emote correctly. It's movie making 101. Yeah. You don't have a guy react to a thing that we don't know about unless right. you're going to reveal it later. Right. Um, but you would never, like, never reveal it and just be right. like, infer, you know? Like, that's yeah. just, it's, and, and, Tom Hanks and the production company is too good at this stuff. Like, right. You know, all these episodes are done so well, and the and Saving Private Ryan was done so well. I can't imagine that they just were like, I don't know, maybe oh, who knows what happened. Like, you're going to find out. Right. And I don't think we were given anything beforehand. So the first thing that I've been given that feels like I can cling to is that he's known about it for a little bit, and he's been trying to kind of suck it up. Um, I mean, he's, he's laughing at it at this point. So Well, it's that kind yeah. of laugh you do yeah. when you're like, all I can do I is laugh or cry, right. so I might as well laugh, you know? Right. No, no. Um, so yeah, I think um, I had a little bit more time to. Well, and he's at in. the theater too, you yeah. know. So it's kind of like maybe it's making him think about like you know it's like yeah I don't know it's just, um. So that's that's the only like, especially other than the normal stuff that's happening, sad right. thing that scene you know I could I could connect to and and I can see it too because it's got to be so hard because you feel like you're doing such a selfless sacrificial thing and then the person at home is tired of waiting on you. But on the other hand, it's like I feel like I so many people choose to like. Hey, we've been dating for six months. I'm about to go to war. Well, let's get married before I go. And it's like, I just would rather go single. Um, because especially in this, it's like nowadays right. you can FaceTime and stuff like that, whatever, depending on what's going on. Um, but like back then, it's like these things would go forever. You know, remember in Fury, homie was oh, talking yeah. about how he just like basically three years of fighting, you know? Yeah. It's like we started in Africa, then I was in freaking Belgium, and then I was mm -hmm. in, and I'm in Germany. Um, God forbid. Like, so, and then correspondence has got to be so messed up like in the oh, situation they were just in spotty. Yeah, like, yeah. you're not getting who's wondering... and you have to think too, there's no email there's That's no social media yeah, like you're only right. yeah, you're handwriting writing it out you know manual correspondence yeah. in, in this situation if they can't even get you freaking you know morphine they certainly aren't running letters no um, no not at all so you're at home thinking like yeah they could just absolutely have been dead for three months you know like, yeah it's, so it's just so tough man and and then also a lot of them too like having a kid right before you go to so Oof. now that person's at home alone trying to take care of this kid like it's just a nightmare man so yeah that's um 
that's 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 really tough thing that is also very pervasive and like yeah. so many people had to deal with you know lots of guys got broken up with just going to basic training you know but like when you've been gone for a long time it's like man that's really hard it's like it's been a year and you're just in this and you don't know like we all get to look back and be like okay no matter what happens we know we, they won the war yeah you know? but you but know, they don't like, no know. they're living in the moment um, and that's also crazy i mean yeah uh, yeah test um, of love yeah, yeah, absolutely right. And with the medic. <laughs> and with the medic. <laughs> you know, like, oh, that poor guy. Oh, interesting. Michael Fossbender is is credited. I wonder if everyone is credited in every episode because I feel like I haven't seen him since like the f- second episode, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my brain goes to mush when I watch this <laughs> while we're in the moment. I can recap it, but while I'm watching it, I'm like, I can't even speak real words right now. The thing I have the hardest Emotional time Emotional turmoil. I think I have a little bit of PTSD at this I'm having point. a really hard time with the actors because I'm normally very good at calling out names. I keep recognizing faces, but I'm having a yes, hard time with names. And I part agree. of the problem is a lot of them are, like, tertiary mm-hmm. actors. I kind of know. Like, one guy I recognized from ER, and I went and looked it up. He was only, like, a guest on ER. So it was like, that's why I don't know his name is because he was only, like... And I, I'd i seen him, like, he, he actually was really common in, uh, apparently, like, Supernatural or something oh, like okay. that. Oh, okay. But these are also, you know, these are years before some of these shows came mm-hmm. out. Um, and so it's like recognizing it's these crazy. little baby face people. I also have, I swear to God, I've seen at least three people I think look like Weber. <laughs> I keep thinking it's Sam and I'm like, no, 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 I don't know. Actually, I am curious who died. I was going to look that up. I forgot who, um, who do we know the guy that, um, Gene couldn't save. That guy shot in the neck. No, um, I didn't recognize that guy. Oh, if, the guy, the stomach, him. the stomach guy. That's I didn't I recognize wondering. him at all. Okay. Okay. That's that's what I'm I saying. think he a got pulled in. She followed him because she was getting called, and he followed her. Mm-hmm. So I don't think we knew who that was. I don't okay. believe so. So he may not have been one of their guys. No. Okay. Fair enough. Um. So many, so many people in general in the show. I think like if I could pick out of a lineup like three different guys in E Company, I feel like I could find two more guys that look like that person each. Um, yes. So I constantly am like, oh, fuck, is that this guy, this guy, or this guy, <laughs> is this guy? There's a couple. Like, Percante, no one looks like him. He's very, no, you know, yeah, super yeah, sticks absolutely. out. We haven't seen Garcia again. Obviously, there's only, like, one brown guy in the whole company, yeah. so he's he looks unique. Um, you know, Buck looks unique. Winners is just, we see him all the yeah, time, which is helpful. Exactly. But there's a handful that kind of, like, weighed in and out for me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, crap. Like, um, honestly, and, like, this might be a little controversial, but Malarkey and Babe. I was going to say, I was going to say very Malarkey. Similar yeah, Malarkey and Babe. I completely they're agree. They're very, right. like, similar. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I know right. it's not, but, like. Yeah. It's enough where I feel like I can, I can pick them out for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what I mean. But like, I would definitely get caught up a bit and be like, wait. If they were in motion and one yeah. got shot and screamed and fell over immediately, I might be like, oh, wait a second. Who was that? Exactly. Um, so yeah, that's what's been kind of going on. Okay. Well, this has been going on forever. So hey, we'll catch you guys on the next episode. <laughs> See you guys. See you later.